Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today we have another YouTube one channel design, this time paint.net. Um, so, what you're going to do is head over to youtube.com forward slash one channel, then scroll down to dress up once, look good everywhere, and click on get specifications for making channel art, which will take you over to here. Um, then just simply click channel art specs and this picture here will download for you. So um, I'm just going to open up the picture and go to open with and paint.net um, so here we have that open here so now we can start kind of making the uh, channel art so um, what I'm going to do is uh, well, I'll undo that. Um, I'll go to select and select the white parts because I really don't need that. Um, and I'll do it up here as well. So, um, then I will click on the zoom tool and just zoom in on the picture so we don't see the white part. Um, so, now I'm going to make a new layer which is basically going to be, um, I'll put that below the background, so I'll put this layer on top because we can always um, hide that by just deselecting it. So, um, what I'm going to do is first of all make the kind of background for my thing but um, first I will just explain this so basically this area is the bit that's on everything the pink bit is on tablets that's the tablet maximum then the green bit is the desktop maximum and the whole thing is what you see on a TV just to let you know so you want the main part to be in here but you can't put anything in the top left corner because that is where your um, channel icon is. So I'm going to select the gradient tool and put my second color to that blue and just go from there to there. So you'll see when I deselect that you get that nice kind of gradient across the picture. Um, so I'll just bring that back up and make a new layer and this will be the text layer so I'll grab text and then I will choose the infected text which is um, the main one I use with my channel so I will want to probably make it a lot bigger and I'll type in the initials of my channel um, so obviously that is not showing up because this is the still there um, I think I'll make that quite a lot bigger because that's pretty tiny um, and I'll just move it above this layer by clicking the up arrow there and then select it just so I can um, move it to the right place so I would say if I make it 144 yeah I think I think that's an okay size there um, so I'm happy with that font then I will put in um, my second piece of font which is uh, I believe it's called MSG2 menu yes here it is and I will put that along the bottom so I'll just click my cursor here and that's way too big for what I'm going to be typing here um, I think 24 will hopefully do and this is where I'm going to type what I do in my channel so personally I do tech reviews unboxings um, tutorials, things like that. If you're a gamer, you might want to type in what games you play, things like that. But I'm just going to do, um, and then type in the word, and then hold down shift and the button to the right of shift, which will give you a small line. Um, so, reviews. and unboxings okay so as you can see that's gone out of the red bit so I will just shove that across so it's in the middle there and that looks okay I will just make it a 
capital T. So that is um, basically the that's the middle part finished. I'll just move it down so it's sitting right on the bottom line. Um, so now what I'm going to do is type in something in the TV bit. So you you're not just getting tons of blank space. So I'll put it up to oh whoops I'll undo that. So sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll redo those and put it back to. Oh. Well, that is annoying. Okay, um, I'll just put that font in again quickly. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, that seems to be all fine now. So what I'm going to do is click here before I make it huge so I don't make the same mistake. Um, now as you can see that cursor is probably a bit big. I'm not going to be wanting font that size but I'll just change it to the font I'll be using so I'll just use infected again. As you can see that is even bigger so I will have to tone that down. 192 probably still a bit big um, so I'll, I'll stick with 144 and then I'll type in my channel name so Pixel Fiend Tech and I'll just kind of move that I'll I'll click center here nope that's not what I want uh, yeah I'll just kind of center that in the middle of the screen there and um, now you can pick whatever color you want but um, I'm fine with having it this way um, when you move the layer down um, I'll hide this layer you can see that that just kind of stands out quite well against the background so I'll just move it back up on top again and I'll put more text in at the bottom subscribe um, as you should all be doing if you enjoy my videos um, just to prompt people because you always want people to subscribe and please do if you are enjoying my videos it does really mean a lot to me so um, that is basically the tutorial finished I'll just show you here if um, I take that away I know it looks a bit rubbishy here but if I quickly head over to YouTube um, I'll go onto my channel just bear with me a second youtube.com slash pixel fiend tech you should all be checking this out and going and seeing my other videos that is the kind of thing you get now I'll just show you here um, what it means by desktop minimum now this means that when you squidge it up you uh, I'll just do that again when you squidge it right up you can still see all the text down here you can still just read it though it is underneath the links and it still does all fit in um, so that is the end of my tutorial all you need to do is head over to save as and make sure you pick PNG when you're saving and then just upload that and that should work fine for you thanks for watching so guys that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel also head over to Facebook and Twitter my names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description if you've got any questions you would like to ask please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen thanks for watching see you